These corn fritters are so light and fluffy and four ingredients, guys, and less than 10 minutes. Okay, I love a recipe that takes almost zero time and this thing is so effortless, it's not even cooking, really. It's just so good. I'm gonna start off with some self-raising flour and I just want a couple of eggs in here. Oh, this is the kind of thing that's great for breakfast, but you know what? When you get home from work and you just don't know what to cook, this is also a very good midweek dinner. Okay, and then I've got some corn as well. Now I'm just using frozen corn kernels because they're easy to keep, you know, you've got them in the freezer. And I just need half of that corn for this first part. And then I want a good pinch of salt. And then this just needs a whiz until it's nice and smooth. Okay, now I'm gonna get that out into a bowl. Now the rest of the corn goes in. Some sliced spring onion, you could add whatever other herb you like. And that, my friends, is it. Simple as that. So, get this mixed through really well and then turn my pan on and we can get cooking. Okay, I just want a little bit of oil, just enough to cover the bottom of that pan. Make it easy on yourself, guys. Use a non-stick for this one. Now, I just want some healthy scoops of that batter and just spread them out so they're a nice, even thickness in the pan. Now, these are really great warm, but they're also really great cold. So they're a great lunchbox item or a snack item. So if you wanted to make little mini ones, they're really cute. Uh, and they do very well in a lunchbox next day. Now these are looking lovely and golden brown, so I'm gonna flip them over. Ah, just joyful. Okay, now these are looking really good. I'm gonna take them off the heat. And you can keep those warm in the oven if you like, or just pop some foil over the top and then keep going. Okay, now these guys I think need a little partner in crime and for me that is sweet chilli sauce. Now, I actually have my own coconut sweet chilli which is like this epic combination of that coconut flavour and sweet chilli flavour and it's tangy and it's epic. But if you can't get a hold of my coconut sweet chilli, regular sweet chilli is fine. You could also serve this with a side salad, you know, it goes with a lot of different things. So lots of options there and I want a really good drizzle of sauce, of course.